I hope everybody's having a great day out there. I wanted to talk to you briefly about your fly tying feng shui. Whether or not you believe in that concept isn't really the point. Uh, the point that I want to get after is kind of twofold. Number one, being able to set up a permanent location uh, in your house, in your apartment, wherever you live for your fly tying activities. If you can have a desk, a table, a room devoted permanently to that, it saves you a lot of time when you come in. Um, you're not having to set up and take down materials every time. You can leave stuff out kind of in limbo or in process and come back to it, which just allows you more time to actually sit down and create flies. Uh, the second part of it is really just kind of the environment that you create for yourself. So we all know that life is stressful. We're all busy, we're all committed. We all have lots of stress day to day. And I'm a huge believer in the fact that fly tying does provide some emotional relief and healing. So uh, with my fly tying environment, I try to surround myself with everything and anything positive. When I come in, when I sit down, I wanna leave everything else, everything else in the world, everything else in my day behind and outside of that environment. Uh, I think that that benefits me. Number one, it relaxes me, helps to lower my stress level. But we also know from lots and lots of research that a stress-free mind or a reduced stress mind is far more capable far more creative, and it's just gonna allow you to create better flies with your time with the vice. So in my environment, you can kind of see the peak behind me. I've got pictures, pictures of my kids, fly fishing adventures, some articles, all positive, fun stuff um, that brings up a lot of positive memories. and just kind of helps me take a big deep breath, sigh, leave everything else behind, and have a lot of fun. Um, I love my little wireless speaker. That always sits on my desk so I can rock whatever tunes I need to to help me get in the groove uh, and create whatever I wanna create. So. As we move into the colder months in the Northern Hemisphere, just take that into consideration. Create for yourself a permanent fly tying environment, if you can, with some wonderful, positive thoughts and memories that surround you, so that when you sit down, you get a chance to leave all the other crap from the real world behind and just have a blast tying flies. Hope you have a great day. As always, don't hesitate to hit me up on my website, www.thinairangler.com. You can also message me off of Instagram. Have a great day.